Busy weekend ahead for the city of Springfield with the Basketball Hall of Fame enshrinement ceremony along with several other big events including a Springfield Thunderbirds game planned for the same day. Western Mass News reporter Rakin Lokri joins us live in Springfield with how the city plans to keep traffic under control. Reagan? Yeah, that's right, Abby and Chris. There's a lot of fun things happening this weekend here in the city of Holmes. But with so many people expected to come to the city, it's going to look a little bit more like Boston and Springfield in terms of traffic. But Mayor Sarno is asking everybody to pack their patience, and he assures us the city has a plan in place. Enshrinement weekend in Springfield is upon us, and hundreds will be headed to the birthplace of basketball to welcome the new inductees into the Hall of Fame. But in addition, there will be several other activities attracting big crowds over the weekend, including the Thunderbirds season opener. However, city leaders assure Western Mass News they have a plan in place to help curb some of the traffic. On your screen is the layout of the pre-event road closure plan, which will start Friday morning. Crews will close off the horseshoe adjacent to City Hall to allow for television set up for the enshrinement ceremony on Sunday. However, the city's director of Public Works, Chris Signoli, explains that the main traffic control activities will happen around midnight Saturday night into Sunday. Development will happen of the um, ancillary work that needs to be done by the Hall of Fame in NBA security along East Columbus Avenue. On your screen, you can see the portion of East Columbus Avenue that will be used for the VIP arrivals. Signoli explains that's where the event team will be placing bike rack barricades to construct the red carpet area. The red carpet event is the VIPs and uh, people associated with the event will be walking down East Columbus Avenue in a protected red carpet area. Signoli says the red carpet will be held Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Meanwhile, between 4.30 and 6.30 p.m., East Columbus Avenue will be closed from State Street to Bolin Way as guests make their way to Symphony Hall. As for those attending the Thunderbirds game taking place at the same time just around the corner at the Mass Mutual Center, Signoli assures us they have a plan in place that will allow patrons to leave the MGM parking garage as efficiently as possible. However, while parking in the MGM lot is certainly an option, city officials want to remind those coming to the city this weekend that there are plenty of other options in the downtown area which are marked on your screen. This plan has been publicized. Uh, we think it's going to work. We've done this a number of times in the past few years where there's been virtually no issues with regard to traffic. So all we're hoping is that everybody follows the follows the direction of the signs in direction from the police that are going to be out there. There's going to be a lot of police. On your screen is a map that shows the Thunderbirds post game movement plan for Sunday as fans leaving the Thunderbirds game will encounter significant roadway closures. So their movement patterns will need to be modified. MGM garage movement should be as normal. However, on your screen, you can see some of the other garages downtown, including the I-91 South Garage, will have some changes in terms of exiting. Meanwhile, Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno has this message for the public about the temporary changes in traffic patterns expected this weekend. We just ask you again to be patient and understanding, uh, but this is what happens when uh, you have big events. You go to other cities, which are... Uh, sometimes larger than us, uh, we're drawing these events here, and when you go to those events in other places, uh, you know, you have to be patient.